Hello guys. Alright, so I'm recording this video because it's still fresh in, I guess, news. So at the time of this recording, 24 hour, tw or 21 hours ago, Thunder posted a, a video on their Instagram. I'll leave like a link to it and I'll post a little small clip because I can't post the whole thing because it's, you know, copyright. What they posted is Nora Vasconcelos and it's basically a welcoming because Nora is now on Thunder Truck. I know this is probably not a big deal to anyone, but for me it is. If you're a skateboarder, you kind of, although I am not a picky skateboarder myself, I can basically, kind of basically skate anything, but everyone kind of does have their preferences, even if like they are not picky, I certainly do. Thunder Trucks is probably one of the things I've stuck to as since middle school. It was actually the first truck I ever skated and it's one I've always loved. I have skated other trucks and they are okay, but Thunder is one I always come back to. For those who don't know, Nora was actually on Crux Trucks. I think that's how you say it, Crux Trucks, which is owned by NHS. Now she's on Thunder. I don't know how to explain that feeling. So if you think, picture yourself this, basically. If your favorite professional uh, athlete is under a certain brand and they come to a brand that you like that they weren't originally it's an awesome feeling it's think of it as like a it's almost like a basketball player is now playing for a different team and now they have different like merchandise to put out for example if they were on Adidas now they're on Nike or vice versa it's such an amazing feeling i kind of get it now when people get hyped when they switch pro players or athletes from team to team or like from a brand to a different brand. It's an awesome feeling. So probably me saying that and putting it out there doesn't probably doesn't mean anything coming from me because I'm basically a nobody in skateboarding. The reason I'm putting out this video is because I actually met her at a skate shop in Santa Barbara and it's Lighthouse Skate Shop. If you're ever cruising around in Santa Barbara, please visit Lighthouse Skate Shop. It's a really nice shop and the guys there are amazing. But basically I saw her there. If I find it, I'll post a picture of it. But basically I asked one of the guys for a sticker and I got her to sign the sticker and it was awesome, it was funny. And also like a while ago when her shoe first came out, I remember being so hyped on it because I, I love Adidas, I've always had them. Like they were always my favorite skate shoe, especially the Buzanets. And it's awesome because like most of my favorite pros usually ride you know, obviously your favorite pro doesn't always ride what you ride. When they switch over from a brand to a different brand that you like, it's an awesome feeling. Whether that's a skateboard brand or a shoe brand or anything like that, it's just an awesome feeling. So with that being said, I actually do want to show, and I'll show my shorts of me skating in it because I have posted myself skating this board while I used it. This is one of the boards I had during the summer that I was skating for a little while. Um, it's a little bit beat up, but it was one of my favorite boards regardless. Now, I have them in a stack right now, but I also have um, the kitty one, which is like a bunch of cats and it's a person there. I'm pretty sure it's her, but I have that one in the pink ply and the black plot, I guess the black black background, I guess you could say. I have them both. This is a 8.8 .8 by 32.4. Now I have that graphic, the, the the one I just explained with the cats and everything. I have that graphic in an 8.8 .8 for both, um, the ply one and the black one. And then I also have that, those two same graphics in an 8.25. Now I would show them, but I'll just probably post pictures of them because right now they're in my stack of boards that I'm saving. But yeah, it's just so cool that when you, like, you know, it's just, it's just an awesome feeling. I am literally starstruck because I always, like, I knew she was on Crux Trucks. I just never thought they would, you know, get her on thunder. It's awesome, man. It's just, it's, it was unexpected. It hit me, like it caught me by surprise. I just literally saw it on the feed for Instagram and it was, it was cool to see. And the fact that she basically put out a video part for them is cool. I honestly cannot wait what pro model they'll come out. Cause if you guys like, for those who don't know, they come out with pro models for their team. Like for example, I have Jamie Foy's truck, I have Tom Karanjalov's truck, the Shad's on there as well. Tom K and um, Cody Lockwood are like my favorite pros. Um, Cody Lockwood, I actually do not have a truck for him because I have a specific size that I collect and also, I guess, use. Unfortunately for Cody Lockwood, they only came out with a 147 and a 149. I collect the 148s, so if they come out with the 148, I'll usually buy it just to you know support them i usually try to get multiple just to like use them up or like give them out to people to like you know skate them to get them, to get them on thunder as well i cannot wait to see what graphic or 
truck model they come out with for her. On top of like the graphic, cause you know, sometimes they put graphics on the trucks for the pro. They sometimes make the specific truck, for example, they'll give them a light or a hollow. Uh, and now they have the inverted kingpin. I can't wait to see what they come out for her. Usually the trucks are usually made the way they would skate the truck. So if it's a solid truck, you know, no hollowed axle or forged base plate or hollow axle or hollow kingpin or anything like that, they usually make it to how they like it. So when we buy their truck, we're getting the model they would have skated with their graphic and colorway on top of it. The reason I showed the board is because her graphics are usually my favorite graphics, especially from Welcome Skateboards. So I literally cannot wait to see what truck model they come out with her. I know this is off topic, but I wanted to show this. I didn't want to record any gameplay because I wanted to put this video as fast as possible. But in the last video, you guys, I spoke about the Battle Pass. Um, I didn't purchase it yet, but now I have it. As you can see there, if it focuses, I have 39% of it done already. I'm gonna be working on it for the rest of the day. Or I guess the rest of the morning because I just got out of work and it's um, right now it's 644 so I'm gonna grind it for a couple hours and take a nap. Let me actually go to Warzone. But of course I had to rock Michael Myers. Michael Myers has been my go-to skin just for Warzone mainly. But yeah, uh, this is such a like out of the blue type of video I know. But I'm just so hyped that Nora is now on Thunder. It's gonna be cool to see whatever model they come out with her. And yeah, I'm just really, really hyped for her. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, again, sorry that this is just out of nowhere. I wanted to make a skate video today and I was hoping this is some type of way to get like out there for the community. But in terms of me skateboarding, I'm, that's gonna wait again. I know I've been stalling on that, but I'm, again, I'm very sorry. But again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. God bless.